In this video, I'll show you how to connect a Canon PIXMA TS6420A or TS5320A or any other Canon PIXMA printer that are looking like this one with your Mac computer. So let's get started right away. On the control panel of your printer, you should have this screen over here. You're going to tap OK. Then you're going to go under Wi-Fi setup by selecting it with the down arrow and then pressing OK again. And you'll select the first option over here, which is wireless connect. Press OK. Then press OK just to confirm. Just have to wait a few seconds right now until you get a message on the screen over here. Perfect. Now, next step is to go on your Mac computer. Then you should go on the Canon website that they told you to go on the manual. It's this one over here. Look like this one. And then you should select setup, start here. Now it will ask you uh, the name of your printer, which model it is. In my case, it's TS5320. Maybe yours is different. You can select it from the list over here. And it should find it right away. Okay, so now we're gonna press start. We can skip everything that you see right now. Uh, you probably already did this. So you're gonna go and click, if you have already prepared your printer, go to connect this blue link over here. And it will ask you to download the Canon software. Just press the download button. Press allow. Wait until it downloads. Then go ahead and open the software we just downloaded. If you get this screen, press open. Okay, now press next. Tap your password of your Mac so it's able to install. Click install helper. Click start setup. Click next. Now you just have to wait. Now press yes. Press agree. Then just make sure that over here, this is the name of your wireless network at home or at the office, depending where you are. And then press yes, if it's actually the name of your network. Here you need to allow. And you should get this uh, message over here with the green check mark telling you that the printer finally connected to your Wi-Fi. So now press next. And now you just have to wait again. I'm going to press add printer. And in this list, you should see your Canon printer over here, Canon TS and the name, the number of your printer. Click on it like this, select it, and then press add over here. Okay, that's great. Uh, by the way, you can close this web page. We don't need it. Press next here. And you should get this icon with the green check mark. You can test print over here if you want to make sure everything works. Let's do it. So first thing is just make sure there's some paper on your um, in your printer. If you don't want to use this top feeder, you can also put print, uh, paper over here. So let's press on test print on the Mac. Uh, this is the page that it will that will get printed. Just make sure that your printer is selected here on the top section and press print. Now, it's always great to extend this drawer because this is where the print will go. Okay, perfect. Seems that it works. Now, next step on your computer. Oops, like this. Press next since it worked. And we are done. So now we can exit uh, this software over here. 
but you see we cannot close the window I don't know why Canon did this you absolutely need to press continue online and press OK and you can exit this page that just open up so now we're able to actually print using your Mac by the way your printer will make some noises this is totally normal just ignore it so now you can select any file on your Mac and print and I'll show you that it works let's say I don't know this one over here we'll open it and then the easiest way by the way if you want to print something on your Mac is just press command hold it and P uh, this window will open make sure that your Canon printer is selected on the top over here and just edit the settings according to your needs and you know what you prefer in my case I'll just leave it the way it is and I'll just press print let's see and here we go very easy and it works every time and the quality seems pretty nice as well now what if you want to use the scanner of this printer with your Mac again very easy what you need to do is to open system preferences and then from here you need to select printers and scanners maybe yours uh, your um, page over here will look different if you have a newer Mac maybe yours will be on the side but you should find printers and scanners and then on the list here I have a very long list because I have many printers but maybe yours is very short you need to select your printer which is the Canon TS5300 or anyway any other or another name this is up to you depending your model exactly so select it in the list and then you see over here you're gonna see a scan option tap on it then click open scanner this uh, preview screen will open up it will give you a preview of what's on the scanner right now obviously in my case I already put a page and I'll just show you how to put it by the way so open the lid and you see over here I mean you don't see it but if you open your scanner you're gonna see an arrow Take your page facing down with the top section of your page on this side on the left side put it down and align this corner with this arrow just push the paper until the corner touch the arrow close the lid go back on your Mac this is just a preview nothing got saved yet you're just gonna edit those settings on the left side so do you want it to be in color black and white the most important thing is if you're scanning a picture over here where it says resolution you should select the highest number possible because this will give you the most details but I suggest you choose 150 dpi if it's just text now after selecting the dpi over here you have use custom size just uncheck it and choose the size of your document you see you have a big list I'll leave it like this then you're gonna choose where you want this scan to go on your Mac computer in my case I want it on the desktop so I'll leave it like this you can you can give this document a name name me blah 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 anything and a format obviously if it's a document I think most people like PDF and if it's a picture most people will like JPEG so choose accordingly to what you're scanning and then press the scan button as I said if you choose 150 dpi it should be relatively fast you see it already did it but if you choose the highest dpi number be prepared to wait a bit because it will take more time so the scan has been uh, saved and here we go I just opened it from the desktop and here is our scan so this is it this is how you connect your Canon PIXMA printer that looks just like this one that looks just like this one with your Mac computer I hope this was useful if so please leave a like subscribe 
Comment down below if you have a few other tricks and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.